Okay. Diagnosing. That's too much. Reflection. This is a photo called the BNS. Oh, my word, my word. Okay. This is a vehicle speed near zero. RPM near the first around 900. And when we get to the scope, what's the scope? So I start, stop, start. So there is no reading on the scope. So after tracing the issue, we found out that they did rewiring at this side, so it affected the connector. So now I have found the wire that goes to the BCM. That's why we're getting battery voltage on that wire. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll interchange that wire with the one that goes to the BCM. Then we redo the connection again. So anytime I put... Okay. It shows there is a connection. So now I'll test from the pin six. Concentrate the pin six. So from the pin six, I'll find the actual violet wire which is connected to the pin six, and I I got it beeping. So that means I have to swap the two the two violet wires. So I have to swap the two violet wires and test for continuity from the pin 6 to the PCM as the data said. So we test the circuit from, we connected from pin 6 and I did the connection here from pin 6 to to pin 44 which we are getting a continuity and it should be below one ohms so let me take it to resistance and you see it's below one ohms so that's what I identified said it should be below sorry for the glare but we will test this ground this is the waveform so we will test it by hooking a scope to it so we will test signal from the PCM to the uh, from the cluster itself to the PCM, so we we'll test the waveform. So I think now everything is set. So I have to get the scope ready and start testing everything. So I have to fix the instrument closer and I have to connect those two wires. Now I will turn the ignition on and see if I'll get. So I've connected the. Combine combination meter, then I'll start the scope. Yeah, I'm coming. Oh, the scope is not connected, so I'll connect the scope to it. Where can I get? Where can I get? Take out the clay. So start the scope, and so. Now I'm getting for almost five volts and five volts from here. So I'll change the settings to the computer ten volt on scope A and ten volt on scope B so that I could get the same reading. So now I will start the vehicle. I'm getting the same almost five volts. So I'll start I'll start the vehicle and much like drive. So now the vehicle is, is running. So I'll put it at drive and see if I, I, if the issue is fixed. So 
when I put it at drive, you see the square wave. So this is the square wave that I'm generating. So whenever we hit the stop, then it stops. So when it puts a drive, so I just lifted, I just lifted one tie up so that I can drive it. So when we put it at drive, it works. So now the square waves are coming. So we will go to the. So now it's reading. So I'll connect. I'll go into the engine control unit and top. So the vehicle speed is zero. It's at zero, but now it's reading because now it has been fixed. So when we go to the scope, you see me getting the same waveform. So that's the waveform that I'm getting after tracing, after like three hours of diagnosing. That's where we concluded. So using magic scope to diagnose and identify the issue. So this is the pin six. Then from there we connected it to the 40, terminal 40. A terminal 44 on the engine and this is a nice setup so we check the waveform that we got yeah and this is the same waveform that we are getting so this is the waveform that we are getting on the scope so this is the waveform that we are getting on the scope and we are getting the same waveform on this scope whenever the vehicle is driving so when that tire is driving, that is the same waveform that we get on this scope.